there's going to be some little jerk digging in your past okay. trying to pull up something against you so these these things are tough on artists I think. yeah and an, another thing just to continue the the, the velvet underground were uh, definitely avoided being <coughs> directly political and yet they are artistic revolutionaries yeah. and so they're you know there are different places where these changes occurred uh, some more direct and others in, in a different uh, way uh, we, we listened sense. we listened to them a lot you know there was the William Burroughs together with the artist Brian Geisen uh, uh, invented and promoted something called the cut-up method and the idea was that language is a virus and he thought of this before the internet age and the idea was if everybody would just stop trying to control things and have, have these programs words would speak for themselves and lead us in, in the new directions Ron Ashton's genius on, on his guitar was that he would plug it into the amp and turn it up and he listened to the guitar and the amplifier talk he, he just let them talk uh, I used to take LSD and I had a Farfisa organ and I'd go down to the basement and plug it into an amp and turn it on 10 and I'd just recline with my feet on it and listen to it talk and there's a lot of that in the Velvet Underground music, too, and those are avant-garde ideas, and they, they crept in. But that was, that was the, and that's why so many odd things happened in the history of that group, is that we were just kind of letting things happen. I was on acid on more than several of the clips in the movie when I was young, and I would go from... I'd be feeling very aggressive for five seconds and then break out laughing. <laughs> it's, you know, but you're not <laughs> supposed to do that if you're like, you know. <laughs> yeah, right on, you know, so, uh, brothers and sisters. So that that was a, a difference in our approach. Pleasure over here. Thank you very much indeed uh, for the uh, your rock movie, otherwise the movie which is really rocks. I'm from Ukraine, TV channel Inter. Uh, as you know, uh, in Ukraine it's a really hard time. Nevertheless, our young people are really inspired uh, by the new wave of rock and alternative bands. So I just wonder your personal opinion. Um, why the rock music is so requested and so necessary for the society, especially during the crisis and in spite of what kind of land is it? Thank you. Is he asking if uh, rock music is necessary anymore? Because... Mm, not quite. I don't quite understand, I'm sorry. I, I know that, I I know mean, that it's an archaic form. No, he's asking, I think, why it's so important. Well, why is it so important? For society, yes. yes. Uh, for society, in especially in, in where he comes from, which is Ukraine. Yeah. yeah. And it has a very uh, a strong current of rock music and alternative music. It, it, there is a very strong current of rock music and alternative, what we call alternative music. You're alive today. Or alive again. I hope so. Personally, I'm not sure that there is because the digital age has made collecting money so incredibly efficient and uh there's now you know when 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 we started our band we didn't know what publishing was we just gave songwriting credit to everybody in the group because i saw it on the back of a doors album i thought it was cool <laughs> That's, I, we didn't know about these things we didn't understand we had vaguely about royalties and rights and it's different now. Um, you can push a button and get rich quick. And uh, I, I think also the there's an argument to be made about the human 
embraces approach to the point where the technology gets to the point where it's going to grip everybody by the shoulders and shake us and then throw us down and get rid of us. Everybody's a little scared about that. And, you know, it was people like Lightning Hopkins, who was a great acoustic blues player, he, or uh, R.L. Burnside would say, uh, yeah, well, the white people want me to play acoustic, but the electric has more soul. And I think to a certain extent, the old technology kind of was like throwing an amplifier into the spirit of man. Same with LSD and riling things up. But now the technology has grown and grown until it's whoa, you know? Why don't I just die now? <laughs> you know, the, 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 the best I can do with that, I said to myself about 15 years ago, okay, treat yourself like a precious antique. That's the best you can do. And uh, wow. I was uh, on the beach the other day, and some big yob from uh, Serbia, 20 years old came up to me. Yeah, I like your music. Uh, it's very good. And, uh, you know, of course, I listen to the new techno and uh, electronic. But we like that old stuff, too. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are you going to do? You know, you're going to be polite. And then when the guy walks away, you're going to say, you know, oh, fuck you, Igor, you know. <laughs> you know? Kind of like that. Question over here, then Jason. Hi, I'm Eric from Israel. Honored to meet you. Uh, you mentioned LSD. What is your attitude to drugs today? And uh, how way you are naked to also become part of your same persona of your icon? And do you have any plans to come to the red carpet today, short uh, without shirt, uh, like Julia Roberts became came barefoot? Ooh. What is your feeling? Basically, what is your feeling? And then why are you not sure? Good night. This is Neil Sell.